A very good morning to all our students both from the King School and the Charity School as well as our dear parents. How are each of you all doing? I'm sure you are making the most of these holidays. Well, during our normal vacations we would go to some quiet place and really have a nice good family time and enjoy ourselves. Due to this lockdown, we are all at home, nevertheless with our families. The 15th of May is coming soon and it is the International Family Day. So let's make most of the time together. Besides that, on the 12th of May, we had another day, which is called the World Chronic Fatigue Syndrome Day. Well. Our heroes, the medical and paramedical staff, the police, are battling their lives selflessly during these tough days. Well then students, what does CFS stand for? CFS is Chronic Fatigue Syndrome. Chronic means a disease condition which is more than a period of six months. If it is below six months, it is called acute. Well, what do you mean by fatigue? Fatigue means extreme tiredness, profound weakness. Okay, and syndrome is a condition wherein the person has a collective number of symptoms all together at the same time. Now, what are these number of symptoms? Symptoms like digestive problems. Okay, it affects the stomach lining and you have loose motions and vomiting symptoms. Frequent colds are seen. Your jaw hurts. Changes in body weight. That is, you start decreasing in weight. Your appetite decreases. You start forgetting important things as it affects your memory. There is an increased hair loss, excessive sweating, and increased thirst to see, and a dull continuous headache at the front and back of your head, along with a lot of muscle aches. Like he said, there is this muscle stiffness, a headache, you feel too tired, you can't sleep, it's hard to concentrate on anything, to think. And all this leads to stress easily. Well, the main symptom that I want you to note here, children, is the profound exhaustion or the extreme tiredness. And a general feeling of being unwell for a continuous period of time. This seems like an unending feeling of malaise, of unwell, that reduces your ability to partake in your activities as you normally would. Well then, how all is this caused? The exact cause is not yet clear, but links have been made to five causes. Number one, genetics. That is probably it runs in your family line and is passed down to generations. Then you have viral infections. Now this causes your immune system problems and that could be make you more prone to diseases. Also, hormonal imbalance causes this condition and stress. You see students, the first four of these conditions are not under your control. Well, there is hope since the last cause, that is stress, can be controlled by us. Therefore, students, remember these five points. Number one, set aside a healthy 
daily routine in your food have foods that do not cause inflammation to your body like curds protein rich foods like fish eggs nuts dals and cut down on your sugars and maida products your fried foods and decrease the amount of meats in your diet drink a lot of water and hydrate yourself as well students number 2 divert your mind when you are faced with any kind of physical or emotional stress you could practice deep breathing exercises and that's your third point keep a prayer time keep a time for yourself to connect with your body and relax number 4 fix your sleeping hours it's good to have a routine children go to bed at the same time try avoiding napping for long hours in the afternoon okay and limit your caffeine intake as well so you get a good night's sleep make sure you have a routine in your sleep and in your food patterns as well and the last point i want you to remember number 5 as sir melvin and madam leecha encourages us to do something each day you wake up in the morning that your future self will always thank you for blue ribbon is the symbol for chronic fatigue syndrome awareness day there is a possibility that many of us are feeling tired these days due to various personal factors and circumstances in our families and with our loved ones this does not mean that you have cfs however we do need to rest and unplug our phones and refresh our minds a headache or forgetting something does not mean that you have cfs cfs is a combination of many many symptoms over many many months well you see students family is the basic unit of society let us cherish our families and invest our time to build healthy relationships during these lockdown days the most important being rest finally let me leave you with some of the wonderful quotes on family as we celebrate this day today the 15th of may 2021 as international family day as the saying goes by jk rowling family is a life jacket in the stormy sea of life when all the dust is settled and all the crowds are gone the things that matter most are faith family and friends quotes barbara bush everyone needs a house to live in but a supportive family is what builds a home says anthony lesio let's work together as a family even if it may be faster and easier to do the job ourselves let's talk with our sons and talk with our daughters as we work family isn't always blood it's the people in your life who want you in their the ones who accept you just for who you are the ones who would do anything to see you smile and who love you no matter what family is the most important thing in the whole world make your bond stronger on this family day stay happy stay together stay safe make sure that you use a double mask especially the three layer mask when you move out of your home ensure you wash your hands when you come home make sure you carry a hand sanitizer in case there's no water and soap available maintain a social distance 
keep your distance students so that you do not get the infection that is all over our state take care see you later